Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, 60 minutes video in which I would like to present for White a very nice little opening uh, repertoire uh, with White, starting with one E4 and uh, dealing with the move E5. So my plan is that after Knight C3, Knight F6, we are not going for the main lines of the Vienna, but we are now playing the move D4, which has recently become uh, fairly popular, basically because of the influence of some leading uh, grandmasters from Azerbaijan. Mamedi Yarov, Dura Bailey, uh, some other strong players have been playing it, Savarli as well. And uh, it's setting some interesting problems. Let's say after e takes d4, the points we are going to take back with the queen. And now after knight c6, we are not going to play the move queen e3, which would actually transpose to lines we are familiar with from the, from the center game. In that case, the queen might not be so well placed on the e file. Let's say after bishop to b4, bishop to d2, castle uh, queen side, sorry, castle king side, castle queen side. And now after rook e8, the queen got the move again because of the, the move d5. So instead we, we place our queen on, uh, on d3. And that may of course also obstruct the bishop on f1. But as we will see now in, um, in the line after bishop to b4, bishop to d2, Castle king side, castle queen side. If rook e8 is played, we can play knight e2 and we don't have to be worried about the move uh, d7, d5 by black. In fact, if white is able to consolidate for a couple of moves, he will uh, be ready to uh, to play for a king side attack by launching his uh, his pawns, move the queen away from uh, d3 to, to g3, for instance. So this is one of the key basic ideas of, uh, of this opening repertoire. So we try to avoid the center uh, game. Let's say if we would have uh, done so, uh, starting with the move d4 on move two, then after e takes d4, queen takes d4, knight c6, now queen e3 would lead to that uh, kind of main lines uh, from the center game. But unfortunately our move order with uh, queen d3 is not so good now because there is the move d5 and after e takes d5, knight takes b4. Black has already a slightly preferable position once he regains the pawn on, uh, on d5. So for that reason, we are going to use this particular move order with knight c3. Uh, and after knight f6, play d4, e4, queen d4, knight c6, queen d3. That's our starting position uh, of this uh, video course. And black has, of course, a lot of other uh, setups uh, possible instead of bishop b4. Bishop c5 is another interesting move. Bishop e7 is slightly passive. Uh, another way to develop the, the dark squared bishop is of course to play uh, with g6. I'm not sure that's a great idea because white is already planning to go for a king side attack and that pawn on g6 only gives white some more indication on how to build up the attack with a pawn storm on the king side or just get a bishop out, followed by queen d2 and bishop h6 anytime, trying to exchange the, uh, the Fianchetto bishop. A lot of typical attacking ideas we will get to see. Then, of course, there's also one other line uh, with a quick d7, d5, which is leading to very interesting play. And probably it's just uh, forcing equality for, for black. I should be objective, of course. I believe this is the, the, the most challenging move for um for white but nevertheless i think we are still able to create a game even though it might not be an objective advantage uh, there are still enough uh things to to be discovered there so that um, that's a line to uh, to be reckoned with as well i hope you are enthusiastic about this uh, little uh, concept and uh, hopefully you will get inspired by the number of uh by number of crushing uh, victories uh, by white in this uh, line. A lot of strong grandmasters have been uh, testing it with, with great success. Of course, there are also drawbacks to such approach as in the at the start of the game, we make a number of queen moves, which we ideally wouldn't do. But once we do get the ideal setup with a pawn on e4 versus a pawn on d6, well, then I believe that uh, all the ingredients are there for uh, for a nice game and White has all the reasons to be happy and look forward to a uh, nice kingside attack. Well, that's basically it for now. Let's just get straight to the action in the first chapter in which we are going to have a look at the line with, uh, with bishop to b4.